This is Talk Business and Politics with Roby Brock. Welcome to the program. We appreciate you tuning in. I'm Roby Brock. Thanks for joining us. Well, we learned this last week of the passing of Jimmy Lou Fisher, the longtime state treasurer in the state of Arkansas. She was 80 years old. She died in her hometown of Paragould. Fisher was a fixture on the Arkansas political scene for more than a quarter century. An ally of Bill Clinton, she kicked off his run for president at the old state house in 1991. When term limits forced her to retire as state treasurer, she ran for and became the Democratic nominee for Arkansas governor in 2002, taking on incumbent GOP Governor Mike Huckabee. She garnered 47% of the vote in a tough race. For many women, Jimmy Lou Fisher was an inspiration in politics. She helped launch many careers, and she was a vivacious, generous, and charismatic leader. Janet Harris, CEO of the Winthrop Rockefeller Institute, offers her thoughts. She was the first woman that I ever saw serve in an elected office, and uh, both as, as county treasurer in my home county in Greene County, but then later as a statewide elected official and the first woman to be nominated for governor in Arkansas. So a trailblazer, you know, um, in politics and public service. And what I remember about her is, you know, her long and dedicated service to the job, especially the job of state treasurer. Um, she asked over and over for Arkansans to give her the opportunity to lead in that office and resoundingly they did so. And she took her job seriously. And, you know, those constitutional offices are, they perform ministerial functions, but they're very critical to the operation of government. And she did it and did it well and was dedicated to doing it over and over. I, I think about the, um, the thousands of people who have photographs holding a million dollars in the state vault. Um, that was a program that she started because she wanted to connect people to what she did, what she did for them as treasurer. Um, and I always admired her for that service. I also admired um, her endurance and her grit. You know, when she was running for governor in 2002, she had quite a bit of back pain. And I remember that there were days it was really hard for her to take the stage or take the podium and shake the hands, but she did it. And she did it with a smile and with grace and um, was so interested in connecting with Arkansans and telling stories. Uh, but she also had this very generous spirit, you know, because even when she was unopposed many times for state treasurer, she would step up to the lectern and campaign for her friends and colleagues who were running for office. And she didn't have to do that, but she was their cheerleader always. Um, and just as a person and as a woman, um, what I saw in her over the years and wanted to be able to do my own self was just the way that she could make you feel as though uh, you were the only person in the room. So she had this charisma and magnetism when she spoke to you and also a bit of self-confidence. You know, she would lift her chin and sort of take stock of you, but at the same time, give you that radiant smile. And um, she just sparkled. And uh, I was speaking to a friend of mine who who worked with her for a long time. And she was recounting the day after Jimmy Lou lost the governor's race in 2002. And she said, you know, the whole staff was, was kind of in the headquarters and we were all down and she came in just whistling and smiling and saying, let's move forward. Um, and so I think as a politician, a public servant, she left an incredible legacy of service. She also left a legacy as a person uh, that I think we can all learn a lot from. And I know she'll be dearly missed. <laughs> 